Zilla review. We're going to be uh, charging an AC system on a 95 Ford F-150. Yep. And basically what huh? we're going to want to do here is we're going to be bypassing the low pressure switch so that we can get the compressor clutch engaged and running because you cannot charge without the compressor clutch running. And remember, this guy is a professional, so I mean... So what we'll do yeah. in this scenario is since we have the, the connector right here, we're going to basically just jumper wire this connector with a little jumper wire. You can make one like this from Walmart, mm -hmm. wherever. Two little ends, female or yeah. male ends. Just put it in here like See, this. See, I thought you were talking about that when you told me. No, no, no. This is, uh, and then we'll, j and then basically when you turn on the air conditioning, it should in immediately engage the clutch. Okay. So you're going to start it up. Yes, sir. Engage the, and we'll check to make sure it's working first before we start. You want me to just start turning Go ahead and start it up and turn the air on. I want to make sure the compressor's running. Yeah, I mean, we'll turn, yeah, turn the AC on inside, on the controls. Okay, it's on. Shut it off. Go ahead and shut it off. I just wanted to make sure that it was on and working. Now we're going to start charging. Basically, what I wanted to do is make sure that it engaged. So it did. I saw it come on. Woo! So, yes. now that Otherwise, it's engaged, it's now that it's engaged, we can hook up the ch to the charge port. We're going to find the low pressure side fitting, which is this one here. Anytime you charge AC on a 134 system, it's always going to be the small one. The smaller nipple, you can't charge on the high side. You always charge on the low side. It wouldn't even fit, so it's pretty self-explanatory. It's for dummies. They make it for dummies so people won't kill themselves. Anyway, so yeah, it's, anytime you go to charge AC, it's going to be on the low side. And uh, so that's where you're going to hook up to charge. So go ahead and start it up. We're already jumpered. Keep the air on and running. You can turn the fan on a little bit, but that doesn't matter that much. Just make sure that the car's running, air is on. And what we'll do here, just for this purpose, uh, basically we're just using this little gauge that comes with the charge can. There's other ways to do this. If you have a set of gauges, you can actually, you know, charge it through the gauges. But we're gonna do it this way, just with this actual gauge here that comes with the can. So and you wanna be in what area of the bird, so you don't overfill it. Red is bad, always bad. That's what it says right there. If you look at the little sign on the gauge, it's pretty self-explanatory. When it gets into the yellow, you stop. You would stop at the yellow. If it's red, then it's, it's obviously overcharged. Sometimes it'll go to the red when the comp that means the compressor's not on. And so with the compressor engaged like it is now, it's it's sucking it in. Now a better way to do this would be if we had a vacuum pump handy, we would vacuum it down. I may uh like this just with this jumper wire you just leave that plugged in and you go so like oh that's like a a, a band-aid right like if uh, you, you don't really this is what the low pressure switch does okay basically it's designed to protect your compressor All right. so that if it gets low it shuts the compressor off so it doesn't kick on kick off kick on right. kick off because that will ruin the clutch on the compressor right. it'll ruin your compressor so it's a fail safe is what it is essentially it's also the, it's also essentially a relay that switches power from your control unit out here to the compressor. 